Hello everyone and welcome to my General Hospital official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. General Hospital spoilers claimed that Kirsten Storms just experienced a cooking mishap. Storms claimed on Instagram that a bursting coffee canister was to blame for her less than photogenic appearance. Storms began her post by conceding that it was an amusing story before explaining her coffee grounds incident. Storms usually has no difficulties with her tins in the morning, but something went badly wrong this time. I've opened several canisters of at Illy underscore coffee tins, and the grinds have never exploded from that cute metal container, colon, sigh, everything happens for the first time, Storms explained. Kirsten Storms also quipped that she prefers her coffee made in hot water or over ice, rather than straight from the container. The GH star clearly did not enjoy getting coffee grinds all over her face, as demonstrated by her frown in the photo she posted. Storms, on the other hand, accepted responsibility for what occurred, citing the warning label on the lid. It's even written in numerous languages, so Storms had to declare she was warned about the possibilities. Finola Hughes admitted in the comments section that she was perplexed when she first viewed Kirsten Storms' photo. It led Hughes to believe Storms had a phony shiner for story reasons. I thought it was a GH storyline. Hughes exclaimed. I'm thinking who would dare to give Maxie a black eye? In Hughes' defense, it appears to be a black eye at first glance. We'd have liked a fun guessing game over who decked Maxie, but we'll have to settle for chuckling at Storm's real-life coffee disaster. One fan joked that it was Corintho's coffee that caused the trouble, and everyone laughed since Storms decided to share. What's next for Maxie? Our predictions suggest she'll keep working to help Cody Bell and Max Scorpio restore their relationship. According to the General Hospital spoilers for Thursday, August 8, Christina Corinthos Davis imagined she was holding her gorgeous newborn girl and awoke to the horrific truth that she was no longer there. Felicia Scorpio stopped by to offer the hospital's therapy services before Christina broke down to Alexis Davis about the death of her baby. Meanwhile, Heather Weber appeared with a guard and attempted to apologize to Trina Robinson, but Portia Robinson struck out to stop her. Scott Baldwin threatened lawsuits until the security let him into Heather's hospital room. Scott volunteered to defend Heather in a new trial and pursue the corporation responsible for the botched hip replacement since they could profit handsomely from it. Heather would also be free to spend time with Ace Cassidine, so he encouraged her to think it over. Trina did not let Portia fight her battles for her, so she went into Heather's room and let her say whatever she wanted. Heather truly apologized for any sorrow her actions had caused. Trina couldn't forgive Heather or Esme Prince, but she did agree with Heather that she didn't want to hurt anyone else and left in tears. Carly Spencer and Sonny Corinthos scolded Donna Corinthos in her room about the dangers of taking someone else's medicine and reminded her not to take anything without the supervision of an adult. Donna, on the other hand, was not in any danger and was looking forward to getting some popsicles to calm her throat. While Carly drove Donna home, Jason Morgan handed Sonny the incriminating photographs of Ava Jerome's argument with Christina. Sonny also suspected Ava was behind his medication swap, so he advised Jason to pay her a visit and see what she had to say. Alexis was enraged after Sonny updated her on photographs of Ava putting her hands on Christina prior to her collapse. When Scott appeared and requested Alexis for aid defending Heather, she inquired if he was mad and declined. Sonny returned to Christina's room, kissed her head, and apologized for waking her when she stirred. Christina was relieved to see Sonny and eventually pushed him to hold Ava accountable for her actions. Anna Devane brought Agent John Jagger Cates to the PCPD and questioned him about his relationship with Ava, but he acted as if his private life was none of her concern. Anna disagreed now that Ava had been jailed, so she told John about Christina's fall, her baby's death, and all of the charges. Although Anna suspected John thought he had found a friend in Ava, she cautioned him against attempting to take down Sonny. Agent Cates refused to allow Anna get in his way, storming out of her office. In jail, Ava received a visit from John and swore to him that Christina's fall was an accident. Ava also discussed hiding John's backpack when Christina tripped over it, but the detectives found it in the end. Now that Kevin Collins had discovered Sonny's placebo dilemma, Ava felt she would be blamed, so she pushed John to persuade the pharmacist to flee. John swore not to let Sonny damage Ava and came up at the pharmacist's office, 
flashing his badge and instructing Clement to accompany him. When Jason arrived at Ava's cell, she suspected Sonny had sent him to kill her. Jason discussed the incriminating images before accusing Ava of substituting Sonny's medications for placebos, like she did with Morgan Corinthos. However, Ava believed that Sonny had another adversary who was behind the drug swap. Although Ava discovered out after the switch was ordered, she played up someone else's responsibility and pretended she couldn't reveal the name since she'd be disposable. Carly invited Anna over and told her about Donna's trauma and how they uncovered Sonny's medication swap. Carly wanted Ava prosecuted with this, but Anna admitted it would be difficult to establish. Anna was more concerned about Ava's life, and she questioned how much Sonny knew. According to General Hospital teasers, Ava will continue to be in grave danger, so stay tuned for further updates on her situation. Laura Collins gifted Kevin Collins a cupcake and tickets to a Broadway musical for his birthday on Tuesday, August 6, so they took a moment to celebrate their love despite their recent busy schedules. Meanwhile, Christina Corinthos Davis developed internal bleeding and had to be hurried to the operating room, so Molly Lansing Davis cried to T.J. Ashford, refusing to lose her sister after they had already lost the baby. T.J. stated to Molly that their little girl still needed a name and that they couldn't lay her to rest without one. Someone on Christina's medical team warned that they could need to perform a hysterectomy, but the doctor was able to prevent it at least for now. Christina was stable, so Alexis Davis paid her a visit while she remained unconscious. Molly was up next, and she grieved with tears. Christina awoke and kept attempting to apologize. Carly Spencer screamed to Jason Morgan at her house after Sonny Corinthos refused to spend time with Donna Corinthos without explaining why. Jason received updates on Christina's window fall and medical emergency over the phone, so he informed Carly and mentioned that the baby did not survive. Dante Falconeri was the one who informed Jason, so Jason joined him at GH to discuss their mutual concerns about Sonny, who was AWOL. Soon later, Jason called Brick and heard that he had a person snap photos through Ava Jerome's window, so he persuaded Brick to provide him photos of Ava and Christina's confrontation. While Sam McCall was ranting to Dante about Ava being a human wrecking ball, Scott Baldwin finally arrived at the PCPD. In her cell, Ava requests a guard in order to contact Agent John Cates. She gets no response. Cates is brought to Anna's office and asked what she wanted. Anna questions the nature of his relationship with Ava Jerome. He claims she is a buddy, and his personal life is none of her concern. Anna claims it is when a crime has been committed. She tells him that Ava pushed a pregnant Christina out the window and that her baby did not survive. Kate says he has nothing else to say. Anna wonders if he is unconcerned about this innocent life because it is Sonny's grandchild. He calls it a tragedy, but he has yet to speak. She speculates that he sees Ava as an ally in bringing down Sonny. She informs him that the list of people who have ruined their lives and professions by attempting to imprison Sonny is extensive, and he is adding his name to it. Kate's reminds Anna that she should be assisting him, not battling him, but he refuses to allow her stop him from taking down Sonny. Kate's visits Ava and asks if she is responsible for Christina's escape through the window. Ava maintains it was a mistake and Christina tripped. However, this will not prevent everyone from blaming her. Ava claims Sonny is pursuing her and possibly him as well. She tells him that Christina tripped over his duffel bag. Ava explains that she concealed it, but the cops discovered it. She also knows things will only become worse if Sonny finds he's been using placebos. Ava informs Kate that Sonny went to see Kevin and discovered an issue with his medication. Kevin mentioned this when he arrived to check on her. She claims someone paid the pharmacist to switch his medications, but he refused to tell her who. She knows Sonny will come for him, so she begs Kate to locate the pharmacist and advise him to go. Kate's wonders why, as she has nothing to conceal. Ava cries that she has been to his office multiple times, and Sonny assumes she set him up. Kate's pledges that he would not allow Sonny to hurt her. He claims Sonny's days of torturing others are coming to an end. He storms out. Later, Jason arrives to see Ava. She believes he's back working with Sonny and is out to kill her. She says that what happened to Christina was an accident, and that she would never hurt her, let alone force her through her hotel room window. Jason claims they have proof she did. 
Ava is aware of the images and claims that they can be fabricated. She labels Sonny unpredictable and claims he will do anything to get rid of her. Jason admits that they are aware of the placebos and accuses her of switching out Sonny's medications, just like she did with Morgan. Ava says she found out the medications had been replaced, but it wasn't her. She claims Sonny has a powerful adversary who knows his flaws. Jason wants a name. She claims they both understand how this works and that the moment she passes out a name, she becomes expendable. That name is all that can keep her alive. Back at her office, Anna receives a call from Carly. Carly begs her to come to her house because she needs to report a crime. Anna soon arrives at Carly's. Carly tells her what occurred with Donna and how the medicine she consumed turned out to be placebos. Anna asks Sonny whether he knows. Carly claims he does, and she suspects he has been taking placebos since New Year's Eve. Anna adds that this explains his erratic behavior, but it does not excuse his actions. Carly says she suspects Ava tampered with the drugs because she did the same to Morgan. Anna claims there was never legal proof of what Ava did, and it does not show she did it to Sonny either. Carly claims Ava lived with Sonny for months, had access to his medications, and was keeping him from his family. Anna inquires as to how much Sonny is aware of the situation, as Ava's life is currently in risk. Back at the hospital, Sonny kisses Christina's forehead as she sleeps. When she wakes up, he apologizes and asks what he can do for her. She says, make Ava pay. Meanwhile, Kate bursts into the pharmacist's office and introduces himself. He tells the man, you need to accompany me. The latest allegations against Ava are serious and might result in a hefty prison sentence. The court struggle is intense, with her attorney, Scott Baldwin, scrambling to find a way to defend her. Meanwhile, Sonny, who has always had a strained relationship with Ava, may exploit this chance to take full custody of Avery. Adding to her problems is the growing distrust of those around her. Ava's confidant, Nina Reeves, is divided between helping her friend and safeguarding her own interests. The rising strain is driving Ava to the limit, and her desperation is palpable as she considers dramatic steps to clear her name. During this upheaval, Ava's weakness is exposed. She is battling not just for her freedom, but also for her daughter's future. The legal proceedings are sure to be a battleground, with dramatic courtroom confrontations and frightening revelations that could transform Ava's life forever. This week, Anna Devane, the smart and tenacious investigator, will focus on Trina Robinson. Anna's instincts have been refined over years of solving complex cases, and she believes Trina may have important information concerning recent occurrences in Port Charles. Trina, a young lady facing her own set of issues, finds herself on the hot seat as Anna's questioning get more probing. Anna is keen to find out the truth, and her line of questioning indicates that she suspects Trina is either suppressing information or unintentionally involved in something greater. The interactions between Anna and Trina are fraught with tension. Trina's devotion to her friends and family affects her willingness to reveal information that could implicate those she cares about. Meanwhile, Anna's determination is driven by the need to defend the neighborhood and bring justice to light. Trina's relationship with significant figures in Port Charles, especially her mother, Portia Robinson, and her friends, makes her an important piece of the puzzle. As Anna looks deeper, viewers are left wondering what secrets Trina is hiding and how they will affect the overall story. These three main narratives aren't unfolding in isolation. Because Port Charles' inhabitants' lives are so intertwined, each development has an impact on others. Christina's health, Ava's legal challenges, and Anna's inquiry are all part of a broader story of intrigue and drama. The Corinthos family's struggle with Christina's health problem puts them on a collision course with Ava, as Sonny's determination to protect his children may clash with Ava's fight to keep custody of Avery. The legal and emotional concerns are linked, resulting in a multidimensional struggle with dramatic emotional scenes. Anna's inquiry into Trina adds an extra layer of intricacy. Trina's potential knowledge of Port Charles's undercurrents could influence the outcomes of Christina's and Ava's situations. As Anna searches for the truth, she may discover connections that might either heal or further fracture the community. As these plotlines develop, General Hospital continues to attract viewers with its mix of suspense, emotion, and character-driven drama. Christina's Fight for Survival
Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.